So I just wanted to do a quick video um, on helping to install star tools, uh, but specifically on the Mac operating system. And the reason I'm doing this is when I first installed star tools a few months ago, I remember I had problems um, around the security um, or Apple security and feeling that I had to jump through several hoops to get things working. So I've gone to download um, the new alpha version, which was just released a few days ago. Um, and I'm having the exact same problems. So I thought I would record this uh, for future reference and hopefully help others as well. So what we need to do is from the download page, we download the zip file per usual. And um, if you download this in um, Safari, it should unzip it automatically for you. However, if it's in Chrome, then you have to unzip the file manually. Uh, so that's downloaded and I'm just going to go to downloads. And if I drag this across, you can see there's the distro or distribution folder that's uh, been unzipped and downloaded. Okay, so what we need to do from here is um, we leave everything as is, all the files as is, um, but we open the terminal window. And this brings up a little prompt for us. And using the various commands within terminal, um, we want to run this following um, command. So I'll copy and paste this into the um, notes below, the descriptions below. Just type in this out. So if we've um, kept the files directly where we downloaded them. This should work first time. Um, and there, so we didn't have any uh, error code or error message. So that means it should have run successfully in the background. So what we're doing here is just um, telling the Mac operating system that we can trust um, and remove the star tools app out of quarantine. Uh, that the Mac OS has placed it into once we downloaded it. Okay, so no error message there. Um, so what we now need to do, if I just open a new finder window, is if we go to our applications, create a new folder, and we're going to call this Star Tools. And within the folder, if we just move all of the files that we've downloaded across into there, and now we should be able to run Star Tools itself. Okay, so there's Star Tools 7, which is the alpha download. Uh, so that's loaded fine. So we've got a message here, um, which shows us to buy the license. Um, I already have the license file. Um, so I'm just going to move this across into the exact same folder that Star Tools is in. This time when we run it, um, the license message should not appear. There we go. So we're straight into the Star Tools. Uh, so hopefully that's helped with anybody trying to download Star Tools onto the Mac OS system um, and any security problems or issues that you've had. If you've liked the video, found it useful, please hit the like, please add a comment. Um, and if you do like all of the videos that I'm producing, really appreciate a subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks.